Oh my gosh, I we seen it last week, honey. The clown was gonna get me, honey. Uh, I'm getting reviewed the tea. I hope you see the movie because we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk, you know how we do. Alrighty. So, anyways, oh my goodness. I, I, I was so excited. I was so excited. I was like, okay, okay. It's in the 80s and stuff. Look at these outfits. These outfits are god awful. Like, what the hell is going on with these outfits? The girl had the mother going on. These boys. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> outfit, the fashions was awful. I know they didn't dress that bad in the 80s. You know what I mean? I was born in the late 80s and stuff. I just gave you a little bit of my age. Oh, I gave my age a little bit. And nobody knows my age. And no God. I don't remember all that. I don't remember all that. I don't remember. I know I was a baby and stuff, but I don't remember all that. That was a hot ass mess. You see me, I got color and style up in here, honey. And I was just like, ooh, what is this boy got? Up? What is this little girl got on with this hair? She looked like a damn blood skunk died on her head. I was like, Lord have mercy. Girl, by, you need to fire this person who did the wardrobe and the fashion. No, God. So that was that boat fell or plane fell in the sewer and stuff. And the clown showed up. I like, oh, this clown ain't going to look like this. Oh, this clown ain't going to look like this. You want this? You want your boat? You want your boat? Come in. Get in. Get this boat. I was like, what the hell? What the hell? All right, little boy, don't do, do don't touch that clown. Anyways, it was just, it was, it, I liked how they lured you in and stuff. And then the little boy with the speech impediment, I called him the, the slow boy, honey. They follow everywhere. Then how, I was like, how they had a slow boy? I was like, he gonna die first and everything. But no, 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 this movie that made the speech impediment, the leader, honey. <laughs> the slow boy, the leader, okay. It was, it was creepy. It wasn't scary because... I'll tell you why. What the hell? The wardrobe ruined the scary part of this movie to me. The wardrobe. Because when we seen the clown, begin to see the clown, I mean, there was not a foreboding effect, like a rising of, ooh, this, uh, ooh, you know, he's creepy, scary, do 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 Oh my God, I'm so scared to see this clown type thing because they didn't really do that it was just these kids going to creepy locations that 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 kind of drew in the creepiness and the major tried they tried it with the scary but they're just not working for me um and then it, it didn't it have like shocking scenes where you'd be like ah you know what i mean when they kind of hit them out of nowhere the, the football the music hit them now they that they did the soft thing really well with the creepiness but the scary part they should have got that that japanese guy who do uh, the covenants and stuff? To, you know, they should have took some cues off that. You see what I'm saying? So it was, it was not scary and everything. And and and, and I think it's because of the wardrobe there too. Because when we finally see the clown, I'm like, what the hell he got on? Is he some unisexual? Why does he got on this ugly ass Pillsbury boy dress? What is this dress this clown got on? What is this outfit this clown got on? And stuff. And then the clown looked like a little, looked like a weird looking teddy bear type thing. He had, he had a wop head. And, no, that was scary, the wop head. But from here down, I'm like, what the hell? He don't look that scary. I'm like, well, he don't look that scary. I just punch him in his face and keep it pushing. He don't look that scary. He just look creepy. But I like the wop head. You know what I mean? But mm. The movie was, you know, that was just my two takes on the movie. The wardrobe was awful. And it wasn't that scary. But the storyline was good. It, it, it brought back, you know, the classic theme. The themes was good with the classic theme, the friendship, the coming together, him trying to find the brother. You know, it had all the, the th everything else in it. I thoroughly enjoyed the movie throughout. There was just some, some major gripes. It wasn't scary, and I was hoping to be scared because you know, I am part of that last clown. That last clown dipped it and did drop the low on this clown, honey. I was whenever that clown came out, even a little bit, I was like, whoa, that thing ugly as fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? But this one here, I was like, what the hell this dude he got? Oh, and what, what is this damn clown? Male, female, unisexual? Why, uh, I like the wop head. Okay, the wop head is a little creepy, mighty, like an alien type thing. But everything else, what the hell he got? Oh, that's what I, I was reading him, honey. <laughs> Just say, let me tell you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Honey, you dudes who go out with your bored ass girlfriends 
and stuff. And I'm drinking, and my mom, he had some black folks over there. We enjoy the movie. We talking through the movie. Don't go there. Don't do this. We talk to them like we're right there, honey. And, and we have a good time. What the hell? We have a good time. We, we, black folks over there. we had this, this, this couple on to my left. This couple to my left. And her boyfriend was cute and everything. He gonna turn to me. He's like, y'all talking to my kid. Be quiet. I'm like, you talking during the movie. You need to hug. Don't tell me to be quiet during the movie. You need to go to Redbox and, ride, and, and watch the movie in your own private quarters if you want peace and quiet, okay? We're gonna laugh. We're gonna, we gonna, we gonna shout. We're gonna do what we do on the movie theater, okay? I'm gonna be loud and I don't give a damn. So people who like peace and quiet, do not go to the movies because we're gonna have a good time. Boy, especially with the movie grill, got liquor and food and I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm turned, okay? So don't tell me to be quiet. I, you know, that, every time you, you boring motherfuckers wanna come at me wrong, I'm just, I'm telling you, shut the hell up, walk right, right to Redbox and, and leave us fun people alone, okay? Boop. Thank you so much for watching this Aaron Fantasy. Give you this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, hit me, hit that like button. Tell me what you think about the movie and what you think about the review. I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. Um, so they don't have the adult ones coming up next, right? Thank you so much for watching once again. Do And become one of my dreamers by hitting that subscribe button to get your trend in life here at AF Live.